am I addicted to video games? This is normal. This is normal. <laughs> Hello humans and welcome to another episode of Gen X Gamer. Today, let's talk about video game addiction. And I was watching these videos by this gentleman, let me show you. I hope I don't butcher his name, it's Abbas Lesiel, I want to say, with my accent. But uh, he's got a couple of videos here on video game addiction that are very interesting, guys. Let me tell you, if you play video games, and you play video games a lot, a couple of these might make you uncomfortable, you know, but I found out at least in my experiences, that when I look at things that make me uncomfortable and challenge some of my beliefs, I grow even more in my knowledge base, right? And this particular gentleman, I wasn't familiar with his work until recently when he stopped by and left a comment on a, a couple of Amico videos, and then I started looking at his content and subscribed to him, that he has some very, very interesting things here. He's a well-educated, well-spoken man. And he's got a couple of examples here of what video game addiction can lead to, right? Now, I come from a little bit different perspective, but I certainly understand the subject matter in these videos and some of the things that these people are going through, which is, you know, battling addiction. Now, I haven't had video game addiction per se, but I've had different addictions throughout my life. You know, I know exactly how hard they can be to give Guys, up. Guys, I find more growth in looking at things that have a different point of view than I do. Especially when it's a different point of view from somebody who's educated in the subjects that they're talking about. Right? Um, because a lot of times it will open your mind. If you, Whenever you're too sure about something that you're dis, you're uncomfortable when somebody says the opposite, you know, I tend to look at it, you know, and, and question why am I feeling uncomfortable. Right, usually there's a little bit of truth to something, right? And these series of videos, as you can see, they're, they're uh, centered around video game addiction. And I've been in circumstances very similar to what these people have been through, as far as the, the circumstances in their life and why they ended up in those places. And then I asked myself, why didn't I end up like them? Right, if you're new to the channel, you're not familiar, this is my game collection, right? And it's, I'm not pretending that this is normal at all. It's not, you know, most gentlemen my age, this is not what's in their background. And then I started asking myself the question, how come if I love video games so much, I've never been addicted to those points? And then I started reflecting, the, the reason is real simple. I started working when I was 14 because I had to. If I wanted to have the same things that my friends had, uh, I had to work. You know, we were a poor family, a, a one uh, single mother household. You know, so things were challenging for us. My mom was trying her best, but it's not the same as having a two-parent home. You know, and, and uh, we did have a decent upbringing, but we were not rich by, by any means. And looking at these videos. It made me reflect on, on why, and that's the reason why I always had a goal, right? Is when I was a kid and I was working, I love video games. I started working because of video games. I started working because I couldn't afford the video games that my friends had. I couldn't afford the things that that they had just even going to the arcade, right? I never had the money for that. We barely had, you know, enough for, for the basics, you know. We were we weren't gonna starve, but we didn't have you know, $40 for the arcade or $20 for the arcade, things like that. If I wanted those things, those things were going to be extra and I had to work for them myself. So I started working at, at a very young age. And after that, I, I got married at a, at a young age. And whenever I would play video games, of course, my family was my priority, right? So whenever I got to play video games, it was always for 20 minutes, half an hour. And that's, that's all there was. I ended up having four children, so my time was very, very limited. And as I got older, you know, once the kids grew and what have you, that's when I actually got my education. I went to college later on in life. Went to college in my 40s. Um, then again, that's that could have been a time where I've been 
I could have been playing more, but I didn't. I had to go to college and I had to work and I had to really, really sacrifice in order to get that done. And I just didn't have the time. And to this day, you know, when, when, I, when I made the announcement a week ago, hey, listen guys, I have to work more. I can't make as many videos. This is, this is what's happening. It has to do with work. And all, this, all these videos got me thinking about those things over again. Now, let me tell you, everything has a cost, right? Uh, if you're not familiar with the channel, this is my Zen area. This is what I choose to do for my space. This is my fortress of solitude. This is where I come to think, meditate. Um, you know, when I'm thinking about investing, this is where I come just to think, nothing else. And it's the area that makes me feel the best, right? Um, back when I was growing up, like many of the, the people that speak on those videos, there wasn't any talking about feelings or, you know, uh, dealing with depressions or anything for a lot of us. You know, uh, video games were it. For a lot of uh, key latch kids like ourselves, video games and cable we're our form of entertainment and everything else until our parents got home. So a lot of my childhood, the best moments that I could control were around video games. So I use this for that. You know, they, these are like plants to me um, and decorations and I handle them. And you would be surprised how much more I put into the collection physically. And I'm talking about handling them, you know, getting a piece like the one I bought here today, Puppeteer. Great game. Um, but I don't play them as much as I do those other things I, I spoke about. And it has to do with time. I never had the time. Having that kind of time for me was a luxury because I always had a goal. I always had a purpose to my time. And my personal time was very limited. And to this day, it's the same thing, you know. Um, I put, even though I love video games and they are my my hobby, it is a hobby. So I put that hobby in the proper context in my life. I don't put it up here. I put it over here. When I've done everything else, this is this is what I do. Business comes first because without business, there wouldn't be anything else. And it always has fit in my life. New videos every Monday and Sunday. Thank you for joining me on another episode of the Gen X Gamer. Remember to like and subscribe, click that notification bell, and remember, never ever be afraid to be happy. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.